It is 7.57 a.m. on Tuesday. You know what else it is? 84 degrees already at 8 a.m. And it's going to get even hotter. They say between noon and 5 today, we have the potential to set a record for humidity levels. It's already extremely sticky, dry, thick air. So it's going to make for a longer day. Let's get it. Well, kind of been up there. It is still very hot out, but we have gotten some insane wind. Like seriously, crazy wind. It is super, super windy out there. And it is making it awesome for mowing. I'll tell you what, because it is, uh, even though it's hot and it's humid, it's made it nice. But anyway, um, I've been so tied up with that Ferris after mowing all that wet grass yesterday with both the walkers, mainly the bee, I uh, I decided I'm like I need to do some maintenance on these walkers. I you know scraped the decks. I'm sure I haven't sharpened the blades since like Monday of last week or Tuesday of last week. But anyway, look, I just mowed this one where the rocks are. That was done with the walker MT, and then this big open area was done with the B. It's some nice looking stripes. And it looks pretty decent, but it definitely does not look like it was mowed with a walker if you get up close. It looks great from a distance, from 10, 15 feet away, and even as I was driving by, it looks great. I don't know how much you saw on camera, but uh, yeah, I didn't end up sharpening the blades. I scraped the deck on both of them because they both needed it, and I felt the blades. I'm like, oh, they feel pretty good, actually. They don't feel like they really need sharpened, so I didn't sharpen them. Well, guess what? I was wrong, wrong, because them blades need sharpened. And uh, I've had to slow right down. That that big open area, I uh, I was flying through there. And, uh, you know, I guess I probably should have slowed down. Nobody goes out there. It's technically not even owned by that commercial property that the people that I mow for. That part's not owned by them but the city doesn't mow it so they pay me to mow it so it's kind of like an added on thing which works out for me because it's more money but it's wide open it's pretty bumpy but it's not too bumpy that I can't fly and uh, so that's what I did and like I said it looks really good but if you get up real close and actually walk it you'll see a bunch of stragglers some blades need sharpened <laughs> what are you gonna do you can probably feel the wind. You know they're good stripes when you can see them from the side. One of these days I'm actually gonna film this property. This is that one that I said I can't believe the walker dispersed it all. Because it was, uh, it grows so tall. I mentioned it in a video last week, I believe last Wednesday, or last Tuesday. And I said it's the one I think about getting rid of every year. But I keep it because the money's good. But man, it's a lot of work for sure. It's definitely a lot of work to keep this place in shape. Now I just cut that down to three inches. I double cut it. I still had to break some spots up with the uh, backpack blower. But uh, you know, it dispersed 90% of it. There's just a couple spots in the far back corner that I had to break up because it was underwater last week and I couldn't cut it. But um, other than that, this I double cut it and it disappeared just fine but uh it's a lot it definitely takes a lot to keep this property in order In a minute here, you're gonna see me double cut this. Um, I left the video at this speed. I think it's like 1.75. Um, I can change the speed obviously in smaller increments, but this is 1.75 and then I increase it up to I think like four or something for the uh, second part. But you're gonna see me double cut this in a second. I know it looks good on camera, but 
there were so many stragglers all over the place that uh, I just wasn't happy with it. So I wanted to go back over it again and double cut it, and that took care of everything. But man, oh man, did I, uh, this is toward the end of the day. This is one of my last songs. It actually is my last song um, on Tuesdays, and it was, uh, it was definitely shown in this lawn more than any other that these blades were, they were due. They needed to be sharpened bad. And uh, so I, I'll show the double cut on this, but in a minute I'll be mowing the backyard and I do not show the double cut on that. And you'll see why it would have just taken up a lot of time on video. So I just figured while I was screwing around doing maintenance on those walkers, sharpening the blades real quick. That's what I love. It took me like 10 minutes to pull all five blades off, scrape them up, and then sharpen them on that blade sharpener. 10 minutes. Done. But it uh, beats out of crawling under them like I did in the old days, like I do with this still and like I do with the Great Dane. But anyway, um, so I figured I'd bring this up while I was at it, and uh, I went out back and turned the key. It fired right up without choke. Um, good deal but anyway uh so i one thing i didn't do was i pulled the plug off the bottom of the pto switch it was caked with grease and dirt and grime and all kinds of stuff same thing with the ignition so i tightened the ignition in there that's just a plastic tab but i tightened the ignition back up the nut on it so that's tight in there and i pulled the plugs off that and the pto i blew them both out real good and uh Sorry, that was my wife calling. Don't want to piss off mama. Anyway, so I pulled the plug off the PTO. It was caked with dirt and grime. Same thing with, with the ignition plug. So I pulled both of them off and blew them out real good with the air gun. And surprisingly, they're like super shiny inside. Once I got like crap out, I thought they were gonna be corroded, but they weren't. So clean them out, put that back on. And uh, the key for this, um, ever since I put those new, uh, coils on yesterday 
when you shut it off, if you throttle it down and shut it off, the mower won't shut off. And you, I, if you move the throttle up a little bit after you turn the key off, if you move it up, then the mower shuts off. But if you have the throttle up at full throttle and you turn the key off, the mower will shut right off. So I don't know. I don't know. I know that uh, well, I got this from Ryan and I know he shuts all of his mowers down at full throttle. I don't. I never have. Um, the only mower that I ever do that with is the Walker B. And that's because from day one from the factory, if I don't shut it down at full throttle, it backfires. So, um, and I, it, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, certain carburetors have these little plugs. They're like flat plugs that you have to tap in and the jet sits behind them. Um, if that mower backfires too much, you can blow those jets out. I've done it. Not fun. But, uh, so I do that to avoid that backfiring. But anyway, this, ever since I got this, I shut it down at full throttle anyway. That's what Ryan's always done with it. So I just do it the same way. But, uh. So apparently that's what I'm going to have to do. But I did order a new ignition. It should be here in a few days. But that is going to end today's vlog. That's it. No more.